And the South Korean government has freed up emergency funds for small businesses by nearly five-fold to revive the economy. Our Kim Jae-hee explains where small business owners can go for support. With consumers staying home and spending less, small businesses are struggling to stay afloat. There's no point in advertising because there's nobody out in the streets. I have no idea how I'm going to get through this. Since mid-February, the number of people coming to our restaurant has fallen by half. We've seen direct hit to our sales. Data from the Korea Federation of Microenterprise suggests that since the virus started to spread, the population flow in areas dense with small businesses has fallen by around 80 percent, causing small businesses to lose revenue of around 235 million U.S. dollars a day. In the first three weeks of March, around 1,600 small businesses in Seoul reportedly closed down. To help small businesses hit by COVID-19, the South Korean government has decided to expand its emergency funds for small businesses to almost five times what it had previously allocated. The South Korean government will allocate around $9.5 billion as an emergency fund for small businesses to provide them with low interest loans at 1.5 percent. Business owners are advised to apply for loans in different places depending on their credit score. Those with high credit scores of 1 to 3 are advised to go to commercial banks where they can borrow up to around $80,000. Those between 4 to 6 should go to industrial banks where they can get a loan of some $40,000. The entire process is expected to take about one month. Those with low credit ratings of 7 to 10 can visit the small enterprise and market service and apply for up to around $8,000. The government says this will only take an average of three days. The expanded loans will begin on a trial basis starting this Wednesday and will officially take effect next month. The Financial Services Commission in the Emergency Economic Council meeting on Tuesday is expected to announce more measures to stabilize the economy and the local market. Kim Jae-hee, Arirang News.